Here's what they don't teach you about the social security number. Let's get biblical real quick. And no, I'm not part of a lodge. This is just a Moroccan flag for you scary motherfuckers who scared of symbols. And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. What is the number of a man? 666. So if you go to 42 U.S.C. section 666 to improve effectiveness of child support enforcement, it says, Recording of social security numbers in certain family matters. A. Any applicant for a professional license, driver's license, occupational license, recreational license, or marriage license to be recorded on the application. Now it seems very silly, but what can you get without a social security number nowadays? And yes, fellas, child support is the devil. Book reference. While many people innocently apply for the social security number, little are they aware of the debtor status that is attached to it. This debtor status can be found at 20 CFR 422.104. Who can be assigned a social security number? Persons eligible for SSN assignment. We can assign you a social security number if you meet the evidence requirement in 422.107 and you are a, a United States citizen. Pursuant to the definition section in 20 CFR 422.402, it gives a clear definition of you, as it states, you means an individual who owes a debt to the United States within the scope of this subpart. This definition, along with 20 CFR 422.104, clearly reveals that you are citizens are debtors from birth. When you take these two codes and conjoin them with UCC 9-307H, location of the debtor, which states, the location of the United States is located in the District of Columbia, it becomes more obvious to the nefarious operations and goals of the 14th Amendment, which collectively naturalize and centralize the citizenship of the entire nation, thus making everyone debtors slash guarantors of the fictional national debt. Old versus New Social Security Card Proof of the fact that the Social Security number is an account number is the earlier 1936 Social Security Card model as it clearly states account number on the card. Account number Additional proof that U.S. citizens as marked on a Social Security SS-5 form application are employees of the United States Corporation is also evidenced on the 1936 Social Security model as it states on the signature line, Employee Signature. Employee Signature. And if you look on the back of a Social Security card, it even says, This card belongs to the Social Security Administration and you must return it if we ask for it. So the question becomes, why do we have to have a Social Security number if it's not even our property? Think about that. Peace.